Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what is going on for April 2021. This is your monthly reading. Um, let's see, I want to get an idea of what your energy is. Energy of the person, people, situations surrounding you and the overall outcome of those situations for the month of April. It is going to be a general reading, so of course if it doesn't um, resonate, that's okay. Uh, you can check out your other placements. This one is going to focus on my Geminis. Let's see what we've got here. If you do enjoy the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. Um, Knight of Pentacles. This is um, this is actually your energy, Gemini. There's something that you're um, working very hard towards. You may even be getting ready to make a bit of an offer to someone or for something. Um, but you're still just working very, very hard methodically towards something. You've got your eye on the prize. You've got your eye on some kind of a goal. I feel like you're achieving a lot of success financially as, as well. I feel like a lot of um, success is coming in your work. You've been working very hard. I feel like recognition is coming as well. Um, but you know that you've still got a lot to do. There's still a lot of hard work. It's not like you've reached um, the top or the pinnacle just yet you still got to keep you know putting in the effort it's a bit of a slow pace sometimes it feels slow but that's okay because you're just being methodical and you're wanting to make sure you're getting everything done you're being very detail orientated as well so something um really really has your focus that's interesting but you know what i feel like you've again got your eye on the prize it's going to lead to some kind of a victory not everything is known yet about a situation not everything is known yet um, with that moon energy pisces energy you may feel as though you're working hard to figuring something out um this is interesting this could be um this could be a big big plan you're making you've got um you're working very hard towards something, but you don't have all the information yet. And so you're just keeping at it and you're trying to figure out what the best course of action is forward. This could also be having to use your intuition. So there may be a situation that requires you to use a little bit of intuition. You've been working very hard and maybe that means that you've been so busy, you don't actually have time to sort of get in touch with those deeper feelings and that intuition about a situation. So it might be time to do that because that may help you sh shed some light on what's going on. This You could also, um, you may need to look at your dreams as well, Gemini. You may need to look at your dreams for the answers. So maybe something, for example, has been stressing you out and you haven't realized and then you have a dream about something related to that thing. And so it can help you sort of figure out what you should focus on, maybe what you need to spend more time on or what you've been neglecting in your life. Um, or again, it could have just the key to what has been um, worrying you or, or what it is that you need to figure out that you don't know enough about or that you don't have enough information about. So, But you're still willing to put a lot of effort into this situation. You're not going to give up. Um, you're not going to stop until you have the answers that you seek, until you figure things out. What else? What else is surrounding you? Okay, eight and seven of wands here. So this is a lot of um, fast moving con um, communication coming in and change, possibly travel. So something is really going to, um, is really shifting in the energy around you. And I feel like you're going to get some kind of news. There's someone around you who is feeling a little bit defensive here with that seven of wands. So this communication, this could even be the communication that's coming in from you to a certain person. There may be a situation with someone, could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or someone with a strong fire in, um, in their chart, fire sign in their chart, like in, in their moon position or um, in their rising or something like that. And so the conversation tends to be a little bit aggressive where maybe not even aggressive is the right word. I feel like it tends to be that there's abrupt communication and either you or this person surrounding you or both of you end up being very defensive. It's like you're on the defensive straight away for some reason. It's like you're taking the communication in the wrong way and either one or both of you are getting very, very defensive. I feel like you're doing it. 
Gemini, you may or you some of you may be doing it to this person or in this situation in order to get that reaction, just to find information, just to find out more about what is going on in this person's mind, where their thoughts are at. Um, you're trying to get a situation moving forward in order to figure things out, figure things out that you haven't um, been able to figure out yet. It could even be having to do with making an offer. There could be someone who you're interested in romantically, for example, and you're thinking about whether it is going to be worthwhile, um, you know, making a commitment to this person or vice versa. You need to find out more information and somehow it's making this person very, very defensive. This could be someone who you work with as well, being very defensive for some reason. Um, you could have a lot more um, success at work than this person and so they kind of, they don't like it. Um, you almost put them a little bit on edge sometimes with the things you say and the work that you do and the effort that you put in. This person just can't really handle it that well for some reason. Look at that. We've got the lover's energy. There's your card, um, Gemini. So th there could be, um, yeah, I am getting the feeling with that lover's energy that now this is a romantic um, type of situation. Sorry, just bear with me. Way too many cards fell out there. I'm just going to uh, pick them all up again. So yeah, this could be um, a romantic situation and it could actually have to do with making some kind of a choice or a decision. Um, and you may just be deciding whether or not, again, it's worth your while um, making an offer to this person. But I, one thing's for sure, this is a very significant connection. You could also be dealing with um, another Gemini, potentially. We've got the Six of Swords here. This is, again, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is about movement and moving on from something. So it's almost like the choice is, okay, do we... Um, it's now or never, you know? Do we... Um, do I... <sighs> Do we decide to make this happen or do we just cut our losses and move on? Some of you may actually be considering an actual move here with the Eight of um, Wands and the Six of Swords. So it might be time to just, you know, leave a certain situation behind and move on to calmer waters. Or again, it could be like a physical move to a new house, a new location, a new living situation. There could be... Um, it could be making some sort of a decision about moving, moving in together. But again, you're just trying to get all the facts and all the information before you do that. You're wondering whether or not it's ready, uh, you're ready, um, or both of you are ready to take some kind of a, a new leap of faith. It's going to bring about some sort of change. The situation... Um, I feel like there's a situation that is just getting ready to evolve to the next stage, um, but not everything has been revealed yet. Let's see if we can get some more information about this about this moon and what is going to um, what is going to come to light or what is not fully realized yet in this in this situation because I'm feeling a very significant connection. But I'm also feeling that the communication can make either this person or you or both of you quite um, defensive. And I'm also getting something to do with a move. Nine of Cups, interesting. Okay. Um, water energy, again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So this... This has the potential to be a very, very fulfilling situation. Um, sometimes with that Nine of Cups energy, there could be a sense of, is this just a situation based on, you know, physical lust, for example, or is there actually going to be something more to it? I think that's what you're trying to figure out or they're trying to figure out. Um, you're wondering whether or not it actually has that long-term potential or whether it's just going to, you know, be exciting for now. And then is it eventually going to fizzle out? Is this something that can stand the test of time? One or both of you is trying to figure that out, Gemini. I think it's you. I think you're doing some sort of research. And it's going to take you a while to come to this decision. But when you do, this decision is going to be final. You're going to be confident that you've made the right choice. 
um, whether it involves, again, taking things to the next level with someone, moving in together, higher levels of commitment, or whether it means just moving on to something completely um, different. But I have a feeling that both of you are finding this um, to be a very significant connection. We've got the Ten of Earth here. This is the Ten of Pentacles. This is what it's all about. How do we get to this long-term level of um, loyalty, financial success, stability, building a legacy, building a family? Um, how do we get to that point? What is going to take us there? That's what it's all about. Um, for some of you, it may be worthwhile asking, um, you know, uh, seeking wise counsel counsel you know asking a family member or someone who you respect or someone who you know has a lot of life experience um asking them for advice in a situation as well that may be worth your while because i feel like there is a lot of um that sort of supportive structure that you can rely on whether you know it or not sometimes it can be a bit awkward asking certain situations but don't feel awkward because there is a lot of wisdom there that you have access to and that might be what helps you make this decision um, but this is make or break time guys so I'm very interested to see how that turns out um, but I have a feeling that um, this is not the last you're going to see of this connection because it's a very, very strong connection between the both of you. Hope you enjoyed that reading, guys. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much again for watching. Hope to see you all in the next video.